Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to share with you a clip from a recent Thursday Night Live event. This is for members only. If you want to participate in these, check out the community tab on the YouTube channel. This conversation is going to be around the cheapest collection power available in this marketplace lately. And it's actually surprisingly rare cards, rare reward cards. And they are going for a thousand CP to a dollar. These are amazing deals. Some of these cards are really exceptional. And I go through the highest collection power to cost ratio, like the, the cheapest cards in the rare category. Most of them are rewards, I think. Maybe all of them are. And I go one by one and say, you know, talk about the utility and the value or argument for each. And so if you're looking and getting some really inexpensive cards, you want to build out your deck a bit. This might be a cool video for you to really hear somebody else's opinion around which cards are great and why. And ultimately, we conclude with just my forecast for future price appreciation on these things because I think there's huge opportunity there. So if that sounds interesting, interesting, stick around and stay tuned. Have an amazing day. God bless. Okay. William says, I can't stop buying rare cards at almost 1000 CP to dollar, which is double the value of common CP to, wow. Epics are a pretty good deal as well, but the rare cards are an insane value at the moment. That's really interesting, William. That's the sort of thing you gotta keep hush hush, my dude. You just quietly do it, honestly. Just, you know, and you're gonna say to yourself, oh, it's not pumping, why is it not pumping? Oh, like it's so ridiculous. Did the, and part of you is probably going to say to yourself, oh, these cards suck. That's why no one wants them. And they're never going to want them. I should just focus on these epics or these commons because everyone's going to want them. I mean, look at their prices. The CP is so much more uh, significant. But, you know, it's just cost. Holy cow. Does it, it caps out at a thousand. It must, right? Wow. I mean, yes. Twilight Basilisk is a great card. It's got stun at the higher levels. It's got a good amount of damage output. Yeah, it's got it's lower on the hit points, but it's got a couple armor and it's fast and it's got that reach. So it doesn't need to be in the first. Plus it's four mana, uh, meaning it can fight in the little leagues. I like it. I like it. I use it quite a bit. And stun works so well, like I was talking about earlier in the context of that knockout. Stun stun, and Swiftness are probably my two favorite abilities in the game. Stun and Swiftness. The Seedsmith I'm starting to like too. Because it's um, the Scavenge. The Scavenge is just so annoying the way it just quietly turns your, your guy into a tank. By the time he gets to the front, in the right context, he can still fire. Or, you know, if you have thorns because you're using Mylor, that is a great combo because the scavenge is making your little archery unit into a tank. By the time he gets to the front, he's got enough hit points to, to be a problem. Bonesmith I play all the time. This card's I really like this card. I play this, like, probably, you know, half of the time when I play black, I'm playing Bonesmith. And especially in... I really like black, the death team in... Um, in the rule set, equalizer rule set, because they have several monsters, two or three, that have life leech, and they have two or three that, and some of them might be neutrals, but two or three that are playable with life leech, and two or three that are playable with um, scavenge, and those are such great abilities to have in that in the context of um, equalizer, because you're gonna get up to ten hit points right out of this, right out of the gate, and then by the time you make it to the front. You're gonna have 15 hit points. I've seen I've seen 20 hit points on some cards that have life leech, for instance, in those in those sets rule sets. Gargoyle Devil, I like a lot if if you have a Yodin or a, a, you use General Sloan. I don't use it otherwise, but I use it all the time in those contexts. Exploding Rats is like the modern day exploding dwarf, which is great. It's not as good but it's very good and again very niche like it's not going to be playable in every context but in certain contexts it's going to be it is going to give you that instant win naga assassin i love this card i was buying this card back when it was 60 cents and i bought my max level copy pretty well the day it launched because a two mana card that is dragon that gives swiftness that goes so well with kitty it just it needed i needed it I just knew it was so important from a synergy standpoint and, and I use it all the time. 
Heat Smith or Wave Smith, amazing. Yeah, this card used to be fifteen dollars. Remember when things went crazy? Crystal Smith, one of the most underrated cards for the white team because that tank heal and yet archery focused which is synergizing with sloan so this card is amazing for how it would work within its given splinter and, and given the summoner that's available to you it's amazing i don't understand why this is so 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 cheap bulgeen is down there wow see this really surprises me i gotta like i'm gonna have to buy a few bulgeens because the new cards are not usually they're not usually but hang on what's the, what's the gold situation look at this even the gold is 400. you know what i want to quickly see okay the 2.6 let's grab some of these because this is a bit but look it's only just a few it's really that many and then we're already starting to creep up. Not in a too big a way, but you know, it's not it's not super cheap. But I love the new cards being two cents. That's you know, of course I don't have them yet, so I I, I do want them. Now I'm gonna quickly go back, buy, compare, CP. Let's look at a couple more. Let's look at four more. Jin Renova, oh my goodness, you're still cheap. This is one of my favorite cards in the game. The art style, the magic damage, the strengthen. There's so much going on with this card. Have they tweaked it yet? They did, right? Hang on a second, let me think this through. So three attack, three speed, six, yeah, triage. Look, this used to be six hit points. They gave her an extra hit point here. Yeah, this is a new moderation. This, this used to be six, which was exactly the same. So this this is news to me. I didn't I, I was wondering when they were gonna do this. We've been we've been expecting it for a long time, but this is an update. And this card is still one of the cheapest cards in the rare. Or that's oh in the epic rather. I just wanted to look at the rares. Hmm. Cool. And even some of the gold foils. Okay. Yeah, man. Keep 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 acquiring the rares. You're not gonna regret it. I mean in the short term you might but don't even think about that just like acquire them use them let the cp benefit you rent them if you can and recognize that you are you have a you're enjoying a game and you recognize a future opportunity and so long as that you that stays true as long as you continue to believe that there's a future here recognize that the investment you're making is really inexpensive. You're talking pennies and 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 there's possibly hundreds hundred x's available here. I really think that.